Welcome to Worship Tutorials. Hey, I'm Brian. I'm Bradford. And today we have new pedals from Universal Audio. Yes, we do. Three new pedals. These join the pedal line that they've already had out. Uh, so that would make six effects pedals from Six UA effects now. pedals, three amp pedals. Yeah. These three are the Max. Compression. Which is, it's a dual compressor, right? We'll get into each one of these individually. The Max, the Galaxy. The Galaxy says 74 tape, echo, and reverb. Think Boss, Roland, Space Echo. Mm, it's good. And then the Delverb, which is sort of... The greatest hits from... I believe that's how it was told to that's us. That's how we were. De was how it was described to us. It is a delay and reverb dual pedal. So delay and reverb. So you've got algorithms from the Starlight and the Golden on this dual pedal. A couple things about all the pedals before we jump in and uh, go through them individually. All stereo in and out. Which, the compressor too. Which as a, using a comp is awesome. Because you can put it other places. I know it may be weird to a lot of people, but there are some people who are going to love this. Yeah, and we'll tell you why you should love it too. presets on like you don't have access to different presets on the pedal on the pedal yeah so it's kind of like what you see on the pedal is what you get one of them uh, and we'll get into this uh later one of them has presets based on the app so they all uh connect to the ua app and it gives you more functionality a lot of it is functional stuff over like what the foot switches yeah do. how you use it versus like yeah. accessing extra stuff you can turn trails on that kind of thing uh, so that's kind of like, and they're all, of course, the same form factor uh, from UA. So if you have any of the other pedals from UA, those are the three effects pedals, the three amp pedals. Uh, it's the same form factor, same power draw, that kind of thing. They sound awesome, just like all the other UAs. It's like, this is cream of the crop as far as digital modeling uh, pedals. UA's been in the digital modeling game forever, and a lot of the sounds in these pedals are... From basically the algorithms, some of them yeah. are new, some of them are like their plugins. Their plugins, yeah, like the EMT 140 playthrough. Mm. Oh my gosh! Quickly before we get in any further, all of the playing samples that you see in this video and this section here, where we kind of go through them individually, all the same rig. Uh, the board that you see in front of you, um, and it's wired like this: compressor, volume, city overdrive, governor, Marshall governor, original, vintage. 80s got one of those reissues. The Wrath, which is like a rat distortion. We've got the Amplitude uh, mod, X Vibe modul X Vibe modulation. Then we've got the Galaxy stereo. Yep, yep. Stereo chain starts here. Galaxy uh, delay, Del Verb delay and reverb running into two amplifiers, both by Matchless, the Clubman 35 and. The 1994 C30, both of those amps are running into uh, UA Oxes, Oxen, uh, both using the, the Alnico Silver uh, modeling, and they're panned left and right. <laughs> Get into the pedals. Let's go. So Brian mentioned even the compressor is stereo in and That's out. That's cool. It's very cool. So you could this could be something that if you really want to polish your signal, you could put it 
dead last yes. in your chain, especially if you're running stereo. That um, 1176. A lot of studio musicians, a lot of studio guys will, in fact, put compression on guitars in a mix. Yes. Uh, you're, you, and even end, live. At the end. At the right? end, yeah. yeah. It's very different. Um, now... Putting that before you run into the amps, there's a lot of ways you could use this. Yeah. You could put this after drives and like start your stereo chain into modulation or something. But it's cool. It's there if you want it. Yeah. Um, we're running it first. That's our preference, anyways. Anytime we make patches, even yeah. modelers, we well, put a compressor first for a pedal board. Yeah. For a pedal board, exactly. Yeah. So here's what's cool about this pedal: you can run and you can access this deep feature in the app, but you have two compressors. In the app, you can choose whether you want them in series, parallel, or exclusive. In other words, you step on comp one. If you want comp two, you only have to step on comp two, and it automatically turns Ooh, that's out a comp cool feature. So that's cool if you wanna you wanna do that, uh, because you know you don't. If you want, I mean, you could do that, mm -hmm. but <laughs> if you don't want to do two stomps to turn stuff on and off, there's that. Series would mean they're basically like affecting one another. Parallel would mean they're not touching each other. Mm. So that could come in more handy if you're running in stereo, honestly. But yeah. that's the option. Uh, controls are rather simple. You're not getting into the weeds with like super detailed. Like there's not like a threshold or a knee control. That's pretty <laughs> specific. Uh, pretty straightforward. Attack and release. Attack is like how long before you want the compressor to kind of kick in. Release is how long do you want the compressor to be on. Mm -hmm. Ratio kind of squashes. The higher the number, the more squash. Uh, there's that. Output is, as you're adding compression, you could kind of think of this as like a blend knob in a way. Um, as you're adding compression, it's going to drop the volume a little bit. So this output knob kind of functions as your makeup gain. Uh, there is a preamp as well within the app. You can adjust like the EQ that's accentuated within that is cool. the preamp. It's cool. It kind of like gives you some extra dirt and it's, color. It's the model of the of the 610 preamp. So that's actually a perfect segue. We're talking about the, the 610 preamp. Mm -hmm. Typically, Brian actually has in the studio an LA 610. Mm -hmm. LA 610 is the, it's got the 610 preamp, but it's got the LA two-way compressor as well. You can make so, this be that thing. Basically. This is a pedal version of my hardware preamp, it can which do is that. awesome. And But is that stereo? <laughs> no. Ah, you need it's two a of pedal those. version of two of those. <laughs> and I'll say this, it's killer for bass guitar. Yeah, I'm awesome sure. Awesome for bass guitar. Yeah. Just put throwing that out there. Okay. <laughs> Carry on. To me, the the optical was a little tighter feeling mm -hmm. the the 1176 that's the other option that's my preferred on guitar optical compressors are slower yeah 1176's style is a little more fast well there you go compression yeah so usually you would use 1176 with guitar typically see that makes optical, maybe that's why i like like it so if you're much. running a vocal through that optical would be the way to go okay that la2a so is you could use vocal. this for yeah. vocals you could use this as a bus too by yeah. the way because it's stereo whatever yeah uh but also this would be hilarious if somebody buys one of these to use the Dynacomp feature. Yeah, because you can buy a Dynacomp. You can buy a Dynacomp for, a Dynacomp for like $50. <laughs> uh, so, but what you can do, here's the other thing. I mentioned there's two compressors. Yeah. You can set up each side sound differently. Yes, which so, is what we've done. Yes. So we're going to show real quick because compression is a very subtle thing. And personally, it's more about how it sounds or how it feels. Yeah. So here's it off. <laughs> So, if you're not listening on headphones, you're probably not going to notice yeah. too much. It really is about it. yeah, yes. because I switched over to the Dynacomp and it got like whoosh. you went from well, we went from subtle compression that sort of like juiced it up. Yeah, a little, little bit of sauce on the tone. That's right? Exactly. It. And I pushed the preamp a little bit. You heard oh, it kind that, of saturating cool. a little yeah, bit. Like that. That's not going to be something I would use for like electric guitar. It'll sound really cool mm -hmm. with like other instruments, but and then yeah, we went to like heavy compression. Yeah, like really. One thing you could do is you could set this is like your 
you're always on compression, right? Yep. And then you can set this up as like light, almost no compression, but goose in the preamp and the output. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you could almost use it as a drive. I would like to utilize this because I 90% of the time want a really subtle compression more for sustain. But having the extra comp to kick on when I'm doing yeah. slide stuff and not having, because well, I love my, the comp I use now, but there's no presets. So I'd have to like bend over in the middle of the set, and that's not easy yeah. and fast to so. to tweak it. Well, yeah. turn. Up, do you have it set so if they're both on, it would be like a slide setting? I as much as I could. Yes. I don't have a slide, but like well, I'll play, and you can see it just keeps going. You're gonna little get a little peaky peak of the del verb here okay. too. So here's just one compressor, and I'll kick the other one on. <laughs> idea so uh i probably dial it a little more subtly even. yeah that was pretty serious. it was a lot but you could just tell like it just it helps with slide and it adds noise it so sustains. this is not the pedal adding noise this is the pedal increasing the level of the noise flow that's already there that's what compression so does. that's what compression does yes but that's there's we could dive in more but that's basically what you need to know and we'll show you some of the features of the app later in the video yeah and so we'll cover what we'll show you what they all look for, like yeah for that that'll all be sort of its own section next the galaxy so if you want a space echo sound when i stepped on this for the first time i was like that sounds like a space echo yeah um but those things they're not at like especially the original they're not are not reliable like they're just old and, and like they're, expensive. they're tough and there's other options but you can really dive into this we could spend a lot of time on this one this is probably the most intricate because of all the controls but it's like if you want a space echo check yeah. this out so let's go to head one just to start easy yeah and if you've heard the term character delay before this is this is what this, this is, is that is it on it's done on you can i have a little bit of compression you want some compression i do yes all right here we go <laughs> it's almost like a slap. <laughs> That's cool. We're on head two now. So head two is dotted eighth delay. Yeah. Can you just give it like... I cranked stuff. the tape a age up. <laughs> I took out some bass and some mm -hmm. and added some treble to make it a little thinner so you could mm -hmm. hear in this instance. Honestly, in a mix, you're probably going to want to do that if you really want an intentional delay sound. But so you have these main functions. Those are like the bigger titles on the knobs, basic controls. You got yeah. feedback, uh, echo rate, you know, the speed or like how, you know, the time. So input volume kind of like saturates the repeats. Um, themselves dwell actually is like kind of like how it interacts with the reverb this whole time i didn't have the reverb on so you could hear the delay mm -hmm. let's see can i just give you the reverb let's do mm -hmm. this how's that it's almost like a spring kind of a reverb it so is it it's is not spring reverb but it kind of is but it sounds it like it, yeah right <laughs> That was the the pedal the space echo had reverb in it, it. did yeah that's yeah. Where, that's where this why it's here yeah head one is dotted sixteenth head two is dotted eighth head three is quarter it's head three is here. quarter yeah and then you can combine the two you can combine heads oh so here's one and two 
That's dotted 16th and dotted 8th, right? That's cool. Head 2 and 3 would be eighth, dotted 8th and quarter. Right? But they like feed into each other. Yeah, but they're kind of... And then you've got 1 and 3. And then all 3. Which that's kind of cool. That's like a signature like <laughs> space <laughs> echoey kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Got some vibe. It's got character. mojo. Yeah. Either you want that sound, or you probably don't. Y yeah, <laughs> for sure. So opposite end of the spectrum. Remember, galaxy super detailed. Delverb. It's like we're gonna give you sounds, and it's like mm -hmm. here you go. So we'll start with the reverb on it because the okay. reverb is one knob. All right, you get a reverb knob. You get and, three types. And the type. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. There's no all these these other five knobs pertain to delay. Uh, you get it's pretty, spring. It's pretty crazy if you think about it. As well. I know. I was like, it hope, simplifies things. I wish we could just get one more knob for reverb, but yeah, okay, like a tone or something, or, or like maybe a decay and mix. Basically, yeah. if we could do that. But uh, true. we got spring, the plate, one forty. The that is the model is that that's Bradford in the favorite? aux. Yeah, it's what's in the aux, and it sounds incredible. Also, the the plugin. Yeah, the and the plugin is is so good. Something EMT. about playing with the aux, I love. Yeah. Uh, and then a hall verb. So okay. they're, they're some of their, their greatest hits. Those are your options, but you have one knob. So it's basically yeah. like you get a little more decay as you turn it up, but you're also really increasing the mix. So let's start with the plate. Let's start with the plate since we're here. I'm going to okay. get subtle. Very subtle. It's got a long tail, though. Like it, it kind of goes... Some. A little bit. So yeah. you're kind of like your your setting on the verb is what you a dialed in. Yeah. Uh, and and it, then it you have a little bit of a control. It goes up. Yeah. yeah. The hall sounds biggest. So if you, I don't know, like for what we do, if this would be cool to pair with one other thing, mm -hmm. because then you could use this as like an always on medium ish verb. Yeah. And then you could get something separate to be a massive verb. Uh, but for like our sounds, having this right here, like you're not gonna be able to dial it in, and also it's not gonna get like super washy. But it sounds so good. It is a very good, great reverb too. Affects more than just the re it's like the it surrounds everything. Yeah, the whole tone well, as I turned it up with the plate, it got like it was. It's different than when you like really crank like other pedals. Yeah, it sounds more like studio esque when you start cranking it up. Okay, the delay part. Mm -hmm. uh, we got three types: tape. Analog and precision. Precision yeah. is just gonna be like oh, a their real precision delay is awesome. It's like a like it's like a, just like a twenty two ninety a digital plug thing. Yeah. It does all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So like I said, you have five knobs. There's a lot of dedicated to the to the delay. But your top three are, are similar. You got the time, feedback, mix. Those are basic knobs, mm -hmm. right? And then color, which is really just like altering the tone of the repeats, mm -hmm. and then the mod. Which, you know, it's like adding some modulation. So if, let's just start with the mod down and the color at noon. Let's do some precision delay since it'll be really clean and pure. So real quick, a couple things about this one. There's no like subdivision, so you can't choose. I want dotted eighth, I want quarter. What you tap least, is what you get. At least from the top of top panel. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this is by default set to turn the reverb on and off. You can change this in the app. 
to be a tap tempo. It's like if you want reverb always on. Yeah, yeah, which I, that's how I could foresee using this pedal. Your reverb is always on, and then you're using this to tap your delay times in if yeah. you want to. But for now, we're just going to use this to get our delay. Was that? I turned it into a chorus. Yeah, I turned it into a chorus. Which was like latent. It was weird. Yeah. <laughs> You got to hear all three there. You're hearing some in the samples too. The the precision is going to be your most like plain, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just it, like you know you can add the mod and like yeah, you heard you can, me do the chorus. You can really make the mod go wild. And it'd be like the one I would use if I was trying to intentionally. Hey, delay's being used here. Yeah, uh, it's it's a very it, that's in the ox too. The precision delay. That's right. That's very. the delay in the ox. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and then I went up to the the analog so that mm -hmm. one to me like i've i've played like an older deluxe memory man and like that has is that the dmm the, yeah that's yeah. The, it's got it's got that vibe and you turn you turn the mod on like if you want a deluxe memory man that's not going to break mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. like that's kind of the issue with they're old they weren't like i don't think mike matthews and the team built those thinking they were in the last 60 years um <laughs> like i don't know if that was their intent or not but they're just there's issues this is a great substitute for that the tape it would be like the middle of the road, not mm -hmm. like as much character as the analog, but not as like tight and crispy as the precision delay. I'm gonna quickly walk through the app with you. I'm gonna to connect to all three pedals and show you the features that are available there. First, the max. Here you can see we can adjust the foot switch mode, serial, parallel, or exclusive. Again, exclusive is where you press the button and one turns on and the other turns off. Uh, great functionality there. Then you have compressor settings for each of the two compressors. You can change the EQ uh, settings for the 610 preamp, which is really nice. It's like the actual preamp, which I have one, it's awesome. And then you can have sidechain bass filtering uh, for the 1176. Now we're in the Delverb uh, app settings here. On this one, you can see we have presets available so we can select between those different presets. If you go to the settings, you can see we can turn the trails on and off and we can adjust what the foot switch uh, setup does. So you can set it to affect tap tempo uh, or delay and reverb separately. So you've got different functionality uh, with the pedal in that regard. On the Galaxy, you can see again, we have functionality over trails on, off and the foot switches. So you can again have delay and reverb because this pedal has reverb built into it as well, or effects and performance. Now on the performance mode, you've got a couple options. Uh, you have tap tempo, and then you basically have a hold functionality. So you can have tap tempo on or off, and then you can tell it if you hold the second button, it will do a, a feedback swell. It's kind of like a sustain pedal on a piano, like you're holding the sustain pedal down, and then you can uh, set the uh, the echo ramp rate. The echo rate ramp, that's what it is. So built-in hidden functionality in the app for all three of these pedals.
So in closing, a few things about these pedals um, from an end user perspective. Uh, when we reviewed the amp pedals, the the AC31, what was that called? The um, Ruby. The Ruby, the Dream. The Dream. And the... Woodrow. Woodrow, yes. I know what, they're, what, what they are. It's a 5E3, it's a <laughs> deluxe reverb, and it's a, a 64 AC30. Okay. Those pedals, and we said it in the video, and we, the more we've, and we've used them a lot since then. Like, they're great. And what we've always come back to is those pedals are the closest thing in the digital realm to owning the actual amp. Mm -hmm. The way they respond, the way they sound, the way the controls work. Like there's not much, there are a few, like you can do presets, for example, you can't do that on the amp. No, you cannot. But there's not that many things on those pedals that that don't exist on the amp. Like they didn't give you a ton of extra features. You can't adjust the sag. Yeah. Or, you know, there aren't controls that weren't on the amps that are on the pedals, like treble and bass on the, you know, on, a, on an amp that doesn't have that, for example. These pedals remind me of the same thing. I can see people looking at this, this uh, galaxy and saying like, um, it's a delay, it should have other features on it, right? Th what they've done is they've given you the role in this, they've given you a space digital echo. version of like owning the actual mm -hmm. space echo. Same thing with like a, an 1176, same thing even with this, with this pedal. Like they're, it's not that they're withholding certain things, like the ability to save and recall presets. What they're doing is, it, UA, this is my, I, they haven't said this, this is just my, you know, observation. They're giving you the experience of owning hardware, yeah. like old, cool hardware, like a deluxe memory. And they man. don't need to do the opposite end of that because yeah. loads of other companies have done right. stuff like that. So they're trying to give you an this actual is, recreation. Yeah, of, they're, yeah, yeah, they're, and, and they're doing something that not a lot of people do in the market. Yeah. I mean, and so I think that's where the direction they're coming from these. So those will, that sort of mindset will appeal to certain players and not to others. Yeah. Like if you want a pedal that has every single bell and whistle and feature and like, a hundred presets that's MIDI controlled. Like these aren't the pedals for you. But if you love using like, I always, and I always say pe to people who ask about the amp, like, do you love like an actual old AC 30? Like I have one and I love it. And you will appreciate that, that amp pedal more. And in the same way, that's the kind of user that will appreciate something like the galaxy more. In my opinion, yeah. I think that's what UA is going for. Yeah with this and they sound fantastic. So thanks for checking this out. Uh, we always love when we get to check out new UA stuff. Thank so you, UA. These are, these are cool. Thank you, UA. Uh, just, we've gotten some flack for this. We were we were given these pedals to make a video on. And yeah. that was that was it. We're we, not getting paid for no this. No payment, we don't get to keep the pedals either. Yeah. They're going on to the... We are shipping them up. on. That's why yep. this video was done and we're moving them on. So. Yeah. But we always always love getting to, to so, do stuff with them. So Yeah, the thoughts in this video are our thoughts. Indeed. It's not what they've told us to say. It's Yeah, they're really cool. We love Universal Audio. We do, though. for a lot of reasons. Yeah. So thank you for checking this out and for joining us. Uh, we have other videos featuring the other two like batches of pedals, the amp pedals, the effect pedals they've done, if you want to check those out. Uh, we are doing more and more gear reviews as well. So if you have any that you haven't seen us demo yet and you'd mm -hmm. like to just let us know below but thank you for joining us make sure you're subscribed and you ring the bell so you get notified when we do more of these we hope you guys have a great rest of your day see you next time bye bye